There are many ways to capture screens in Windows, but one of the nicest ways is using Snagit from TechSmith Corporation. Now I'm going to be doing many demos on Snagit showing all of its various features, but today I'm going to show you just how to capture a basic screen. So you can see I have Snagit loaded on the desktop and it provides by default certain ways to capture the screen. You can select a region, you can capture the active window, you can do the full screen. Say you're on a web page that scrolls, you want to make sure you get all of it, you can click that option. And there's many others. But again, we'll cover those in future demos. So, we'll click Region. I'll click the red Capture button. And I see I've got Speed Up My PC 2009 here. I want to just catch some of this information for an article I'm writing. So, I press the left mouse button down and you can see that in the upper left hand corner there's an enlarged section of what it is I'm capturing. It also shows you the coordinates XY coordinates on the screen. Now I'm moving across with the mouse until I get to where I want Then I let go of the left mouse button and my screen capture comes up in the Snagit editor. Now the Snagit Editor has all kinds of features for putting in captions and callouts and lots of other things, but we'll cover that again in another session. So to save our screen capture, we just click here, click Save As. Now you can see you can save in a variety of standard graphics file formats like JPEG, PNG, BMP. You can save it as a Snagit capture file, as an Adobe PDF, and even as a software flash. I'm going to do it as a ping. It's giving me a default name of the date and time. I'm just going to accept that and say save. And that's all there is to it.